let's go into strained brain and the science behind it and how it contributes to autonomic nervous system dysfunction and then how that ANS dysfunction creates and worsens mast cell activation and chronic inflammatory response. So essentially this is what happens in the brain when your brain is in survival mode, something's coming at it. Now this can be environmental mold for me. It also can be toxic relationships, which honestly I was dealing with a bunch of toxic dynamics, which I'm always working on myself, but I had a lot of very challenging things going on during this time. I couldn't avoid them. There was big situations with my children that I had to help them through. And I did think to myself, this is slightly tragic that I'm doing these really big things while I'm so sick because it's basically keeping me in this sick mode. The mold created it. The extreme stress from these situations made it really difficult for me to heal. And the main reason why is the system gets locked up in autonomic nervous system dysfunction, which creates neuro rigidity, the exact opposite of neuroplasticity. Everything, I believe everything is here to serve me. So during that time, I really did learn how to calm my nervous system down at new levels because my nervous system was at heightened levels because of these stressors coming at me from all of the life situations. But it's a blessing now, which I know it stinks in the moment, but now I'm able to regulate myself very well, calm myself down in very difficult situations. So that's kind of the gift, the silver lining that came out of it for me. And when I learned to do that, then I really began to heal quickly. I also had to pace myself. So when you have autonomic nervous system dysfunction, your brain is stuck in high beta, that extra fast speed. It's red on a brain map. It's also stuck in theta or delta. These are the slower speeds of tired, wired high beta, tired delta and theta out in the extremes. When your brain's out in those extremes, you're actually low in alpha in the middle. When you're low in alpha, your brain cannot calm itself down by itself. It also makes it difficult to focus. So if you go to work and you're trying to focus and you can't, it's because you're in this strained brain pattern. If you are being exposed to environmental or relational toxins or both, it will keep you stuck in this strained brain. Very difficult for people. Pacing is important because a lot of people double down on trying to do 1 million healing things all at the same time guilty as charged. But what that does is it keeps you stuck in strain brain because you're really stressed out about getting better. You're trying too hard and allowing yourself to get better is the solution, not grinding on trying to get better. And again, guilty as charged. So if you're trying super hard to get better, it comes with no judgment because I've been there. But what it does is it keeps your system caught in something called sympathetic dominance. That's what strained brain is. What it's doing is it's keeping you in fight or flight. So that's keeping your system in a position where it's always on red alert. It's going, I am not safe. I am not safe. And it's scanning for things not to be safe about. And again, guilty as charged because I became afraid of air. Literally everywhere I went, I would be afraid that the air there was going to make me sick because it had so many times. And sometimes I still even have that. But then once I'm in a place and even if it's smelly or if it seems dirty or I smell must, now I tell myself I am safe. I'm strong. I got this. I can be in a musty place now. But for so long, I couldn't because I'd wake up the next morning. My eyes would be swollen shut. Like in the picture that you've seen, they would crack. They would ooze literal toxins pouring from my system. Absolutely terrifying. So I had to create perceived safety while I created actual safety. This is why stress affects you. But if you have racing thoughts, if you feel anxious, impaired focus, you're not able to emotionally regulate yourself, you have loss of clarity, executive function, organization, I want you to know you're stuck in strained brain. Very important that you get to safety in real life, get out of the toxic environment and create actual safety. Then you have to tell yourself you're safe create perceived safety, which that one might take longer than the actual safety, depending upon your situation. Okay. Number three, let's talk about your brain hack strategy for the day. This is a breath and stillness reset. It's a version of the box breath that I talk about on my other channel, Mind Over. I have another channel, Mind Over, where I've 
help people with explicit matter for a long time. And we're broadening out to helping people with all different types of life situations, especially those that drive them to screen time. So there I talked about box breath. This is a different variation and it's very important to create stillness and quiet while you slow the breath down. Sympathetic dominance is fight or flight. It has quick, shallow breaths, just like you would have if you were running away from a bear, fight or flight. But to create more safety in the nervous system, deep, calming breaths become important. And I really honed in the ability to use my breath to regulate myself. This is not the end all and be all, but this is something that you can use in this moment. This requires a comprehensive strategy. So just so you know, if you go to drtrishlee.com and you click chronic health up in the right-hand corner, it's going to take you over to youcanhealthyself.com, my sibling site. On there, I've created a free guide. When you download that guide, it tells you everything that you need to address. I worked hard on that to be able to round that out for you so you understand the comprehensive nature of this situation but it's there for you, so go get it. But what you can do for your brain hack strategy today is to lie down or to sit really comfortably and settle in for a few minutes. Get really comfy and slow your breath down. And then inhale. Inhale for a nice deep breath. It can be around four seconds. That's the same as a box breath. A nice deep relaxing inhale. And then hold your breath just for two seconds or so. Not real long. You don't want to feel exasperated. Hold that breath and then let that breath out and relax. Slow it down. Now here's the most important thing. Keep your body still. If you feel racing thoughts, let them go by on a ticker tape. Don't grab them. Just let them go by. And a lot of times I'll do this breathing exercise in the morning during my morning routine. And I always have a napkin or a piece of paper or my journal next to me. And if a thought comes to me, I just write it down. If it's something that I want to remember, and then I get back to my relaxing and my breath. You can do this thing too. This will keep you out of fear. It'll give you five minutes, just a little bit of time to calm the nervous system down. Then the best part is you can start using this strategy on the go. I've actually found myself doing this a lot while I'm driving. On the exhale, I'll kind of purse my lips a little and let the air flow over my lips. What I've noticed is I'll do it while I'm driving. I'll do it while I'm watching TV. I've noticed this. I'll think, I'm pursing my lips right now. I'm doing my breathing, but it's creating stillness, quiet, and a little brain reset in the middle of my day. It'll help you out. All right. If you're looking for more help on this journey, please go over to drtrishley.com. Click the chronic health tab. It'll take you through where you can learn all about my journey and my recovery from the big 5A health crises. Mine were caused by air quality, toxic mold poisoning, but anxiety, attention issues, arousal dysfunction. This means you can't get going in the morning, but then you're stressed out at night. Your cortisol is flip-flopped. It will also lead to sexual arousal dysfunction difficulty with intimacy. You know, if you're stuck in a life or death situation, it's very difficult to connect with your partner and the people around you, but it's important. It'll also create autoimmune disorders. Literally the laundry list of the ones that I've had are longer than my arm. I plan on sharing them with you here. It will lead to addiction. So thankfully I've not fallen into addiction myself, but I will tell you, and I've talked about it in videos before, the worse you feel, you just want to Watch something, pour a glass of wine, and check out because it's difficult being you with a chronic condition. But I want you to know every time you do that, you're staying in the downward spiral of autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Instead, pacing, staying in peace, getting this brain reset, it's going to create the upward spiral that you're looking for. Okay, go over to drtrishley.com and always remember you can heal thyself. You just might need a little help.